All right, this is a projectile motion problem. So if you're in a projectile motion problem and we have an angle, so you're on the moon, Alan Shepard is doing his thing. He's shooting a golf ball at 32 degrees with a speed of 25 meters per second. And the question is, how long was the ball in flight? Now note that the acceleration of gravity is not 9.8 anymore because we are on the moon and it is one sixth of that amount. And so G, if you will, is going to be one sixth of 9.8, which comes out to 1.63 meters per second squared. So that's going to be an important number, or technically negative, because that's how we would do this. And so the question asks, how long was the ball in flight? Now, one thing you're going to have to do when you do a projectile motion problem is you have to solve for Vx and Vy. All right, so if I want to do Vx, Vx, this is at 32 degrees. So this is the x and this is the y. So uh, uh, cosine x. This is the opposite or the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So vx is going to be 25 cosine of 32, which is 21. And by the way, vy, I'll probably just do that, will just be 25 sine of 32. I'll need that anyway. So let's just for fun to get that down. That's 13. Two. Um, acceleration in the x direction is zero, right? T, we're solving for that. X1, right, equals zero. X2 equals question mark. Notice what we're doing is we're putting down all our variables, and then we can solve this. A in the y direction is negative 1.63. Uh, T, we don't know. Vy, we already have Vy, pardon me y1, pardon me, y1 is 0, and y2 actually equals 0, because it's arcing, right, as he shoots, if this is y equal to 0, it's going to arc and then land back on level ground, we're assuming this is a level ground, so how long was the ball in flight, you're going to use the y equation, so you're going to say y2 equals y1 plus vyt plus 1 half at squared, and so this is just 0 equals 0 plus, uh, what was y? 13.2t plus 1 half times negative 1.63, right, t squared. Now you have a t and a t. This is a quadratic formula. When you plug it into a quadratic formula calculator, I get t equal to 16.2 seconds. A long time. That's gravity is a lot less than on the Earth. Typically, we see a much smaller number on the Earth. And then, so that's the time in flight. How far did it travel? So for travel time, now that T right there pops over to the T here is 1.6. So you're going to say X2, we don't know that, right, equals 0, right, plus 21. Now we know the time, 16.2, plus and then 0, because acceleration 1 half at squared. So you just take 21 times 16.2 and you get 340 meters. So that is the answer to that. Ignoring air resistance, how much further would it travel on the moon than on the earth? So um, what you would have to do, I'm not going to solve that, is that you would, instead of putting, you put 9.8 here, or negative 9.8, and solve for the time, and then plug back in here your time into this equation. And then you could compare the differences and see. It may be a sixth, but I don't think so because there's a square thing going on. So you'll have to do the math to figure it out.